What's up, everybody? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Skylar Feliz or Bora Simmer on TikTok or Scott Simmer on Twitch, whichever one you may know me as. And if you don't know me, then hey, what's up? How are you doing today? And make sure you put it in the comments because y'all, y'all haven't been putting it in the comments and I'm checking on you, baby. Listen, y'all my only friends, so y'all know I'm back with another video today. And y'all, this is going to be a series, okay? This series is going to be based on bettering and enhancing your gameplay. Because as a self-proclaimed mod specialist, yeah, self-proclaimed mod reviewer, <laughs> uh, the very best of the best, <laughs> I'm here to help you, okay? I'm here to make your gameplay better, more realistic, more enhanced, more better that's all that's what i'm gonna say yeah that's why i'm gonna leave it at but anyways guys i'm here to help okay all jokes aside all of these mods are going to be broken down in different categories so we're going to start with day one which is essentials we're going to move into self-care we're going to move into romance we're going to come back into some family gameplay and we may name some ones that i haven't gotten put into the last family infants we're going to go to careers events da 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 da, -da. like we're going to keep going this is going to be a series and you guys don't want to miss it so make sure you hit that bell and subscribe to that channel and if you're here and you came back you already know we locked in wait my heart was a little off there you go locked in baby i miss you what's up how, how you doing anyways y'all we gonna jump right in because y'all know i can ramble so we just gonna go right into the video and we just gonna yeah get y'all started on those essentials okay y'all so we back again with chanel today so honey chanel is my fave i let y'all know that already so boom we just gonna leave that there starting our video off i do want to jump into what i feel like is very much essentials i jump into our first essentials i do want to just show you guys the map replacements so we may or may have not seen the map replacements but these are by 20th century plum bob and they are definitely an essential okay look at this map it is very much detailed, it's very in-depth, and it's very realistic, okay? I don't know what exactly it is modeled after, but as you can see, it is given very much city. And it makes the gameplay better because... It just look good, period. We're not even going to do the most about it. <laughs> It just looks good. I'm going to show you guys each one I have. So I have one in San Machino. I have one in Newcrest. We have one in Willow Creek. Very detailed. Like, look at those trees. Look how much detail it went into. And then we got one in Del Sol Valley. We have one in Sulani. This is my second favorite next to San Machino. Because just look how in-depth the detail is. It is giving me very much Hawaiian vacation. And then we have one in Copperdale. Yes, like look how freaking cute. Say this is not an essential for your game. Now look, it's not the most important, but it does help aesthetically it is very aesthetically pleasing and we also have one in Rochester, so you guys need to check that out and again every mod will be in the description y'all know i got y'all every time the links will be there and comment below if you have any problems period so 20th century plum by it is on patreon and it will be in the description but we're going to go ahead and jump right into some gameplay mods now since we're here with our good sister chanel she really don't know much of anybody so what we're going to do is go over here and introduce to ourselves to julia don't leave don't leave baby don't leave uh, not him getting in the food truck but anyway y'all the first mod that i want to go over is right here in the corner the language context okay so the language context has been determined chanel and julia have started speaking in simlish if ever you want to change languages they 
just have to ask. So Chanel and Julia are both completely fluent in Simlish. This mob right here is called Language Barriers and what it does is bring language barriers to your game. So with Language Barriers, you now have different languages for different worlds in The Sims. So with this being said, not every region will speak a different language. Um, most world speak simlish but then you do have a few of them that speak different languages so you can click on your sim and go to the languages new pie that you'll have new pie menu you'll see that you have native languages here you can set your language preferences you can disable the language barriers meaning like if it ever conflicts with any other mods and you can't understand what that sim is saying you can disable it for an experience um so you won't have miscommunication you can add the native multilingual uh multilingual trait so that your sim can speak multiple languages but anyways and, um the native language you can add one and we have and i'm probably gonna butcher it we have a combo rebego we have salvadorian six ami tarto sanano I don't know that one. To Toki Salani and Winnebergish. So just from those names, you can probably tell which region it belongs to, like uh, Tartosa, Salani, Winnebergish. And I probably said that wrong because I don't have Tartosa. If ever your sim meets a sim for those from those regions, there's going to be a language barrier. They're not going to be able to understand each other unless your sim speaks that language. So with this mod, you can also go to the entertainment tab on your phone. You can click on Simlingo Mobile and you can actually practice the languages so that you can know them before you visit that region. Yeah. And it is very essential to gameplay because it's realistic. It's real life, baby. We all don't speak the same language or we all speak maybe more than one language. So this is one need. Now going right into our next my i do want to click on the sentiments tab that does pop up when she um introduced herself to julia and you will find the first impressions so this is our next much needed essential my because look y'all first impressions are very real you can get a first impression just from looking at somebody you can get a first impression from the first time speaking with somebody or it may take some time to develop as so you can see uh chanel has sentiments about julia her first impression is that she's pretentious, pretentious, and that means that um, she has a sentiment of, of dislike. But Julia, on the other hand, has a uh, first impressions of Chanel being reasonable and also, um, okay, well, both reasonable and responsible. So she has actually sentiments of appreciation. So that is telling me that our girl Chanel is problematic. Okay, because Julia don't even have these problems with you, baby. But anyway, y'all very much needed. And with this mod, um, it is by Lumpino. Again, it will be in the description. But you also have the choice of either doing the no time decay, which means that the first time you speak to a sim, you'll have first impressions. Or you can have it take time for them to get first impressions. So you choose which one you want to download. Either way, that is our second mod. And our third mod and it's very much needed okay let's move on to some of the smaller mods so that we can get into the bigger ones over here i do want to show you guys a few things by lot 51 so the first one that i would like to show you guys is this alarm so this is a sunrise alarm and what you can do is create an alarm it basically brings back that interaction from the older sims games um you'll be able to make a specific time career time or sunrise based um, and it is it's 11 13 so let's have him demonstrate really quickly so you can click on sleep until the alarm rings he will get into the bed and he'll go to sleep <laughs> as you can see the alarm then goes off and then he will get out of the bed and wake up so that is the first one that I do want to show you guys. And then we're going to go right over here to the front door. And I'm going to have Chanel come demonstrate for us. But this is um, the ding and ditch doorbell by lot 51 and what you can do is ring the doorbell you can just interact with the doorbell and you can also ding dong ditch on the doorbell. So you can wave at the camera and you can also 
you know when you play ding dong ditch you're gonna ring it and you're gonna run away you'll get notifications that somebody is at your door or that it has since the motion so she playing ding dong ditch y'all on her own door <laughs> But anyways, um, with this, you can go into the settings and you can do detection mode. So if you wanted to see when somebody has come to the door, like motion detected or face ID, it'll take the picture of the SIM and it'll store it into your library, which I thought was super cute because baby, you're going to be able to see when Baltimore, Val, baby, I don't know his name, but the vampire, <laughs> you'll be able to see when he pop up. But I don't know if he'll pop up in the picture though, because y'all know. But you can set the light color or you can even change your ringtone. So with that being said, I feel like that's another very essential mod just for realism. Sis done went all the way across the border, okay, just to run away from him. <laughs> The next very much needed mod by Live 51. Let's have her come over here to her office. And as you can see on the wall right here, we have a Wi-Fi router. And so with the Sims Link Wi-Fi, this brings a uh, Wi-Fi into your game. And when I say it brings Wi-Fi, it brings the whole nine. So you will also be able to have a technician come out if you don't have Wi-Fi. Now this one, I'm not gonna go completely into depth about um, them coming over and setting it up and stuff if you want to see that i will link the video on my tiktok to it so that you can see the full interaction but however this one does come with customer service you can get the wi-fi password you can do um disabling it because i'm not gonna lie y'all depending on how many households you play it can get a little bit irritating because you'll have to um have a router for each household so this one is a need if you play not so many um households or if you don't mind keeping up with the wi-fi but i would suggest you to at least remember to put it in your house because honey you have to actually have your um wi-fi on in order to get some of the interactions on the computer so like for instance you see that it's all blurred out and grayed out it's because her wi-fi router is not on so very much realistic and it is a need alrighty y'all so moving on from lot 51 we'll go up and show our last pretty much small mod in this section of the video <laughs> up here on chanel's dresser we have what looks like a piggy bank so the reason why i feel like this is very much essential we you can now add money into a money jar or a piggy bank so this is by ravishin or rsvn and you can choose how much money you want to put into it so let's just say that sis is starting a savings to go to solani baby so she gonna put in 150 she gonna put it into the money jar and now as you can see you can either take the money or put it in your inventory and when you wave over it you'll be able to see that it is it belongs to chanel and she put in 150 dollars so period i feel like that's another essential mod especially if you just want to bring a little bit of realism maybe with your college sims maybe with your teen sims anybody that's saving up for some type of um big transaction in the game but anyway our piggy bank brings us to our next mod which is our first really big mod so we're gonna have chanel go ahead and travel over to the next location all righty y'all we have pulled up to our next location and as you can see baby we are at a chase bank so with this mod right here it is by sim realist and it is a sim national bank so brings a realistic bank into your game so that is you can now get credit you can get loans you can interact with atms you can also have realistic bills. You will also be able to put your money that you earn from your career into a career direct deposit instead of the family household. So with this mod right here, you'll be able to go to your phone, go to the home, and you will see Sim National Bank. So we'll have her do her career direct deposit, and you'll be able to decide how much you want to put into a household and how much you want to put into your uh, main account now with this mod you do want to make sure that whichever lot that you place as a bank does have the sims national bank trait so you'll add it in the lot traits and then you'll also have to make sure that the lot is a generic lot in order for it to work you'll now be able to go into the lot and you'll be able to interact with financial advisors bankers tellers things of that nature 
So as you can see, this is a bank teller. You can speak to them about getting loans. You can speak to them about getting credit, credit or financial advice. So again, this one I don't want to go deep into, but I do want to just let y'all know with the SMB Bank, um, I'm sorry, with the SN Bank and SIM National Bank, it does bring realistic billing as well. So it overrides the billing system. You do have to pay for utilities. Your SIM can apply for alimony. Your SIM can apply for child support. So you have all of these new menus that you'll be able to interact with once you have this mod. And that's what makes it essential, baby, because it's Especially for our divorce sims, we might need to get some child support. We might need to get some alimony. So this is another mod that you definitely need to be checking out. Again, if you guys want me to go into depth about this, I can link my TikTok video over it or I can make a separate video doing the full shebang. Because with these sim realist mods, baby, they take a long time. Okay, so we're just going to leave that there and we're going to jump into our next mod. All right, y'all. So the next mod that we're going to go over is another Sim Realist mod. So this would be Sim Realist Real Estate. So this is another mod that's going to take a long time to go into depth about. So we're going to try our best to make it simple and cute. But anyway, the first step in this real estate process will obviously be to hire a realtor. And then so what will happen with this mod is you'll now be able to go through the real estate process when you want to move your sims. So with this, you do want to be careful about who you hire to take care of your experience because if you get someone with a low rating, you're going to get a low experience. If you get someone with a high rating, you're going to get, you know, a good experience so it either way it go you do want to be careful honey because one time i was trying to be cheap with my little sim and honey it was not the best experience okay i'm gonna just leave it at that if you want to test the waters do so and leave your experience in the comments so i can read about it but anyway we're gonna go with xavier since he has a pretty high rating he does have a little bit of a commission but we gonna hire him anyway when you go back in you can now open the real estate profile you can make an appointment you can check the house listings i feel like you do have to wait to check the house listings until after your appointment because your realtor will be able to walk you through the process and you know show you what they have available anyways y'all so once you hire your realtor you'll get this message here i'm on my way chanel looking forward to discuss our next real estate on divorce so the appointment has been made and now we just need to wait for him to appear here is our real estate agent this is xavier clinton so once the real uh, once he arrives you do just want to give a friendly introduction so that you can get more um out of the experience obviously they're not going to communicate with you if you do not introduce yourself anyway, <laughs> once you finally speak to them you'll see that there is a real estate pie menu now so you want to click on it you can set your house wish list you can sell your home if you want to sell it you can fire them if they're not doing a great job you can end the appointment and you can also manage rental properties if you have a home that is you know rent it out so set our house wish list since we're going to be moving and that would be the first step with your realtor anyway because um they have to know which homes you're looking to get into that way they can help you find one so anyway you can set the value range you can set which world you can set which type of lot traits you wanted to have um you can just put the range for your sim so i'm gonna just do like 20k to 50k because y'all know how much the homes be in sims we can do any world we can do any lot traits but this will be the beginning of the process but then you'll continue to get notifications from the realtor up in the corner he says okay i'll see what i can do chanel i'll get back to you in a couple of days so with this process again it does go on for a couple of sim days um you will get a random call from the realtor they'll basically be going over which homes are available you'll then be able to take a house tour you can put it on your house wish list you can um, continue to go forward with it and with this mod you also have a negotiation battle for the home so 
Even though we're not going to go fully through the process today, it comes with a lot of interactions that I feel like is essential to gameplay because you now will be able to actually walk through the process of buying a home instead of just moving your Sims out abruptly. So anyways, guys, I feel like this is something that you definitely should be checking out again if you guys want me to go through the full process or if you just rather get the link to the TikTok video, leave it in the comments so I can make sure that we do that. We're going to go ahead and jump right into the next mod. Now we are back on our home live. So I'm going to just show y'all another very small mod. <clears throat> now this next mod that we're going to go over is basically a, a laundry mod. So first of all, sis is eating some spoiled Cheetos. I don't know how Cheetos can get spoiled, but we're just going to put those away. Anyways, if you come over to the laundry basket, you will now be able to see that there is a laundry service menu. So with this laundry service, you can either send it away for express dry cleaning, soft care dry cleaning, or ordinary dry cleaning. I feel like this is an essential mod because y'all, if you have the laundry day uh, pack or whatever it's called, our sales be going through it, honey. What you can do is just click on that. You'll send it away. We'll go ahead and do ordinary. You'll get this notification saying, hello, Chanel. Thank you for choosing Sand Sand Laundry Service. We will return your clothes within two hours. So exactly that, that's what's going to happen. So as soon as they finish washing the clothes, it will be returned into your inventory and you'll be able to put it away from here. As you can see, once they are done washing your clothes, it's going to say, hello, Chanel. Your clothes have been carefully cleaned and added to your inventory. Have fun wearing it. So then you can just take it out of the inventory. I take it from out of there and you can put the laundry away. Now, the last mod that we're going to go over for today is going to be Sim Nation Travel. So it is by a deep indigo. And what you'll do is go there to the pie menu on your computer. You'll go ahead and click on Sim Nation Travel. And what you can do is go ahead and get a passport. And the passport is needed to travel places like um, Mount Como Ribby, I forgot. I forgot what it's called, y'all. I keep forgetting. But Snowy Escape. <laughs> you can travel to Solani, places like that. You will need a passport. Um, you also will get a subway pass if you don't have a working car. If you want to get a subway pass, it is going to be about $75. The um passports are about $75 too, I believe. But you can also book vacation rentals from Sim Nation Travel and you can book reservations through Sim Nation Travel. Now, this also brings where you can get a license. So here in her um, inventory, you'll see that she already has her license. You can use that to travel. And she also has her passport, which you can open it if you have been anywhere. You'll be able to see that you've been to Solani or you've been to Mount Kamarebi. I'm going to keep saying it like it because <laughs> I don't know what it is. And she also has a subway pass because Chanel does not have a car. So if you do want your Sims to have functional cars, you can either use cars from War on KCC. So I'm going to show you guys one of those. Okay, so here is the other one. I'm going to show you guys how they work. So you can click on it and you can complete the vehicle registration. You can transfer the ownership to Chanel or you can use it to just travel. But you do have to get a subway pass or you do have to have the registered vehicle and a license in order to use it to travel. So this one, if you click on it to travel, it's not going to move. However, this one over here functions as a bike. So what you can do is um, get the ownership transferred to Chanel as well, or you can use it to travel. We're going to have her ride around in it so you can see how it functions. <laughs> there she is, y'all. She driving around. I don't know why she just tried to run Armani over, but that is how it functions. But if you were to try to ride it anywhere else, it does have to be registered. She can only ride it in her home. And then when she's done, honey, she pop it right into her inventory. As you can see, it's right there. <laughs> but anyways, y'all, those were my take on some very essential mods that you need for your gameplay, at least for a little bit more realism. Again, if you guys want to see how the bank and the real estate functions, 
all through like the whole process put it in the comments so i can remember to record that for you guys um if you have any questions comments or concerns put it in the comment section so we can address it in our next video this was day one but day two we will be going over some self-care of mine so make sure you turn on the notifications hit that bell y'all hit that bell remember to like comment share and subscribe for me and i can't wait to see you guys in my next video